that's how they went boom. Hello for the viewers, Blade Ditch here, coming at you with another episode of Let's Play Some Sins of Galactic Empire, playing as the Vong versus the New Republic. Oh, yes, Halloween's approaching, Halloween is approaching, and what are we doing for Halloween on this channel? Well, um, if all goes right, I will be uploading a Halloween event that I did with the 48th. It'll be really cool. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. Um, when we last left off on the last episode, I do apologize, actually, guys, that it wasn't a very long episode. My t my clock that I had that was showing me the time was not really working that well. So, yeah, that apologize for that. Now, um, when we, last episode, we managed to capture this planet, and now we're just now capturing this one. Um, we found out that the Vong are really not into, well... Not much, at least not that I know of, and um, I have no idea how I'm supposed to play these guys. I really don't. But you guys are saying more, more, more. You want more, and you're liking how I was talking about the lore of these guys. So, what am I gonna do? Play some more. All right. <clears throat> so, how are we doing on metal? We're in crystal. We're doing pretty good. Let's bring the fleet back. Where are we going next? I do not know. Uh, but I did read up on all the, on these guys, and actually, yeah, that's where I was going to go. I was going to go capture that planet. Hang on a second, guys. Okay, um, I did actually read up on these guys, and they were actually pretty damn scary. Um, apparently at one point, one of their ships, one of their small ships, is actually so durable, so tough. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm reading the lore before Disney screwed up everything. You know the good lore um that there was actually one of their ships was so strong that actually from front to back plowed through a star destroyer and didn't get a scratch on it destroyed the star destroyer i mean what the hell these guys are insane not only that i find out that they can't be sensed by the force so jedi don't even know they're there um, so that's kind of scary. They're, um, they like to have a lot of melee weapons, or they have projectiles to stu uh, shoot, like, a miss. That's made of, like, acid, so if it gets on you, it burns you. It, it's just creepy. These guys are just, ugh. I don't know. But, uh, it's gonna be pretty intense playing as these guys. It really is. Let's see, uh. Oh, these guys take up a lot. I think I'm going to get more ships of these. Where, where, where? Oh, I remember this thing. I hate this thing. When I was playing the clones versus these guys, they brought this sucker in, and it was scary. Oh, hell. I'm definitely going for it. Because, I mean, look at the firepower on this. Oh, my God. No wonder it took out half my fleet. Oh, my God. I had to, like, have so many ships focus fire. It wasn't even funny okay i'm trying to figure out what i want to mass produce in ships and no one really spoke of what i probably should do what is this shoot oh uh, that's not bad i might get a few of these bad boys of course all right so let's go down to logistics we're gonna have to get the first one and is there any weapons i can grab yeah, let's grab all the weapon upgrades we can. There's not much we can really do at the moment. It really is. These guys just don't have much. Our fleet has engaged the enemy. Oh no, our fleet has engaged the enemy. I honestly don't know what the hell I'm doing. Holy crap. No time to lose. I don't know if I'm going to win this one. There's a lot of things going on here. I might need to go back and grab a few more ships for this. Research finished. Shoot them down. Open fire. Yeah, I think I'm gonna jump back. I'm gonna get a few more ships before I go. Ooh, actually, no, 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 no. The planet will be ours. 
No, it's not. Be safe for now. I wait. Oh boy. So let's take a look at this thing right here. These, what are these? The That's kind of creepy. It really is kind of creepy. God, these guys are weird. Ah. Thank you guys for voting for me to play this awesome race. Much appreciated. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn it. More metal is required. Bite me. How's that? I'm getting oh, okay. You know what? Let's just grab some more. Planet development finished. At least I'm making a lot of everything else. I can just buy a whole bunch of this shit. More metal is required. Okay, okay, I get it. More metal, more metal, more metal. Research finished. Ooh, I am so going to help with that one. Much apologized. Sorry, guys. Cloakers? Slave working, filler, experience points. What does this shit do? Fung, arms, warship. Common among the Sun Fung War Fleet. Also, Sun Fung Research. We'll grab one of those and see what it does. Why not? It couldn't hurt. There's no time to lose. Actually, no, you stay there. Everybody go over there. I wait. You're creepy. Just so you know, buddy. All right. So, what else about the Yuuzhan Vong? Um, like I said, they they really cannot be sensed by Jedi, so that made it very difficult for the Jedi to combat these guys. Um, I believe in one of the books, I actually a book I am currently reading, Luke Skywalker actually encountered one a small group of these guys, and it took him everything he got just to take down six of them, and that was just their standard soldiers because they're just so deadly and the reason why they can't be sensed through the force is because uh they're from another galaxy altogether they're not even from the star wars galaxy itself they're from a total other one that they completely and utterly destroy there's nothing left there's no planets there's no suns they had one war that was so devastating they eradicated everything there is nothing left and they um Finally stopped fighting. I don't remember exactly why. But they eventually started breeding out Minichlorians because they saw it as a weakness. Don't ask me why. It's weird. The Devong. Get over it. Anyways, they bred it out to where it's micro... Nothing really of, of Minichlorians. And you think, well, isn't everything in the Star Wars universe supposed to be made of Minichlorians? Yeah, Star Wars universe, yes. Remember, these guys are from another one. <laughs> I don't know, it, man. It, it's just what they said, okay? But um, these guys are just weird. And uh, they just view all types of robotic life and uh, all robotic life and technology as an abomination. And that's why they came to the Star Wars, um, our galaxy, Star Wars Galaxy. Yeah! They came to us and said, okay, y'all gotta die because you're an abomination. Great! It's probably what everybody said. Build instantly. Oh yeah, that's cool. So yeah, that's what happened. That's kind of what happened. There's um, the if you guys want to look it up, go look up on Google and, uh, and type in Star Wars: The Great War. I believe it's what they called it. It's the Great War, or the Yuuzhan Vong War. One of those. That was pretty much all of us versus them. And the, the war lasted for, I want to say, five years? Four years? Something about that? And during that conflict, it, just, it was just hell. I feel really, really bad for the guys that had to fight these things. Because, you know, they went through a lot of bullshit. It sucked. Standing by. Oh, shit. I think I have enough ships now. Let's go. All right, everybody push. So, yeah, it was just hell. I mean, I saw an image that kind of summed it up the whole battle. I mean, if you guys look at the thumbnail using for this, it kind of gives you an idea. I mean, the, 
in in space, they're hard to kill. On the ground, oh my god, you just you didn't want to fight them. They're scary. Plus, they're fucking freaky looking. I mean, if you guys have seen the Usain Vong, what they look like, could you imagine an army of these suckers come charging at you, knowing that you know your Jedi buddy that's next to you is gonna be pretty much a grunt like you because he's pretty much almost useless because they're just as tough as him. And it makes you think, what the hell am I bringing a blaster for? <laughs> Somebody give me a cannon! <laughs> you want a cannon, not this little pew pew, little pew. <laughs> and then at that point, you'd wish you became a pilot, so that way you didn't have to be on the ground <laughs> to fight in these things. Uh, bad day, bad day, bad day would be what you'd be saying. <laughs> Alright, come on guys, let's do this. You so getting messed up, boy. Victory is assured. Destruction is assured. Victory shit that, assured. shit that, and then whatever you want after that. That's how they went boom. That's kind of how the Usain Vong war went. The one upside, actually, about fighting the Usain Vong ships, even in the lore, you know, yeah, they're tough as all hell, but remember, they didn't like technology, so they didn't have shields. So the Republic kind of just flat out, instead of using the regular, um, you know, turbo lasers, yeah, the turbo lasers were strong, but I believe they started using missiles a lot more too. And they had the schematics to make the Ven uh, not Venator, sorry. Sorry, not the Venator. Nope. The Victory Class ones, the missile destroyers. I think they had a few of those bad boys and those did a, a fair bit of work. And the thing about that one, you're, well, you're probably wondering, well, how they do that if one of their small ships was so damn powerful? Like I said, I'm not quite sure if that was right. I could be wrong. But I read it somewhere, and like I said, I'm trying. I don't know much about these guys, so I was reading pretty much anything I can get my hands on about these guys. Though it's true, do not know. But hey, you know, read for yourself. And let me know if I'm wrong. Let me know. You know, I really like to know. So be it. I don't mind being wrong. I really don't. Fighter wing standing by. Converging. Converging. Okay, cool. Have fun, buddy. It shall be done. God, they're so creepy. They are really creepy. Don't waste my time. Okay, so that plant's now under our control. Let's see about putting some defenses. Planet development finished. So, you know, I want to take these out until I know which way they're coming from. I wait. Uh, let's see. I want to put a military dock here. Civilian as well. Dock. Lab, I mean. Okay. Uh, I want to figure out what's going on. It's just to head on over and take a look. All right, heading over. How are we doing on time? Coming up on six. We're coming up on time. Cause remember, I, the video accident got split in half because I, because I clicked off. Uh, we're somewhere. <laughs> Complete. All right, 
Let's go take a look. Come on, guys. Jump. Actually, no. Nope. Everybody here? jump. I oppose. I mean, uh, no, never mind. <laughs> oh, God. Structure. Makes sense. If you think about it, the way these guys run their stuff and how they operate, is kind of makes sense how the New Republic is good against them. These guys Research are just, you know, brute strength, slow buildup. The New Republic... There's not really a big buildup, but they can have mass numbers and have an economy to keep pumping out numbers. So it's either mass numbers and quick movement versus slow and heavy punchers. Uh, I'm more on the New Republic side because I like my, having my economy, so I can just constantly keep building shit. But hey, that's me. Initializing phase engine. Rate of fire increased. It's always a good thing to have. More rate of fire increase, yes. Looks like this uh, world all to itself, and it's metal. Oh yeah, we like that. That's gotta hurt. This marauder, run for your life, dude. Never mind. You dead. Time is passing. Where's the big guy? Structure complete. There you are. Go get that planet. Assembling. Oh, he's getting screwed. Ow. Damn, that dreadnought did stand a chance. I want to put up a few defenses over here. Why? Oh, haha. -ha, I got to turn the hood back on. I was like, why aren't you showing me anything? I guess that's all I get. Let's check over here. Definitely want to get more ships and just mass producing everything. I have no idea what any of that stuff is. Their weapons, I really have no idea. Oh, it's these things. Movable, powerful, multi role fighter. Structure complete. Let's go with those. Go over there. Once these guys are formed up, we're going to move out. Of course. And look at the time. Uh, we'll be coming up on 20 minutes, I think. I hope this time. <laughs> well, that's going to end this episode. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this episode, you want to see more, remember to hit the like button, show your support, subscribe to my channel. If you have any comments or touching feedback about this episode or the lore I talked about, let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, I will talk to you guys. Not talk to you. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care, guys. And have a wonderful day.